Hey, what's up, tubers? This is the Estate Chef Hunter. I might do a little video update and things that I'm going videos I'm going to try to do here in the future and some projects that I'm going to work on. But uh, one of the thing uh, was the East Texas Outlaw said he didn't think I'd ever done a video on my Ruger American uh, ranch rifle, 300 blackout. So. I just thought I'd show this to you. Right now I got the uh, Sightmark 5 power rate uh, photon scope on. Uh, this is my uh, stream light. I, I mounted to the side. It helps it a lot. But uh, these, the magazines on these, they actually hold six rounds. Um, I got them uh, sub X's in there. There, there is one video of me shooting this gun. If you go into my short videos, or it wasn't me shooting it actually, it was my buddy. Shoot, if you go into the short videos I, on my channel, and uh, we had a suppressor on it, and we fire a 125 grain supersonic, and compare it to one of the uh, 190 grain sub X subsonic. Um, with the suppressor and subsonic ammo, this gun sounds like a pellet gun going off, and uh, yeah. This is my little little Ruger American Ranch, 300 blackout, and uh, I hope you're watching these Texas Outlaw because that was just for you. <laughs> uh, something else I gotta try this year sometime, hopefully. This is a custom Mauser 308 uh, with an Archangel stock that a, gun, a Jerry Dove. A gunsmith up in Princeton, West Virginia, built this for me, and uh, at a good price. But anyway, this is the real deal. Uh, Jerry Dove, he is the real deal. He's a real gunsmith. It ain't he ain't one of these people that builds AR-15s and calls himself a gunsmith. He really is. He's got the machine. You know, he he's the real deal. But uh, so yeah, this is my, I still gotta get a scope. I've had this gun for months and still haven't shot it. But, uh, yep, yeah, custom 308 Mauser. Uh, it's even got a half safety. Uh, you could put the trigger, you could actually, uh, this stock actually has a cutout. So if you buy a Timney trigger with a, with like the Remington style safety, you can put it on there and you don't have to worry about the bolt safety. But, uh, I guess to keep in tradition of the Mauser, he put the little half safety on here but, but uh it's pretty nice it's pretty badass he uh done a real good job but, so i gotta get that i gotta get out and shoot that this year i want to do some 500 yard shooting at least with it and i still got like i said i still got to pick a scope for it <laughs> uh something else here i'm gonna try to do pretty soon is uh Review on this night vision. These these things are cheap. It's a uh, well, you got digital night vision. You can get them off of Amazon. This uh, some of them take five AA batteries, and the this one actually has a a built-in battery, and it's like fifty bucks. I bought two more with the the five AA's. And I actually give them to my nephews as Christmas presents. And uh, so, so I give 50 bucks for these. And the first two it took double A's that cost me about $80 a piece. But uh, I hope to do a review. I'm going to see if I can show you the battery. But I'll mess with it a little bit at work. It works pretty good. But So right there is the battery compartment for the... If you had the other model, uh, your five double A's would go in there. And it's also got a compartment for a mini XD card. I think it's got like a camera feature. There's a top. It's got, I think it's an IR adjustment up here. I don't know. It's like IR plus, IR minus, these two buttons. And this one has got a picture of a camera. And this other compartment down here 
for the XD XD card and charge a uh, you charge charge it with your cell phone charger mini XD and this looks this looks kind of weird because you think you put your eye to this rubber piece but this is actually right here is where you view you do your view and that and then your hour is right here but uh so yeah i'm gonna try to get me a mini xd card and maybe take some pictures or make some video and, and try to do like a whole review on this but for the money you can't beat these uh, i think it'd be great for a bug out bag or you know for the price you can put them in a, you buy a couple of them put them in different bug out bags i actually have two uh, i'll probably keep them in my hunt, one in my hunt vehicle and uh, another one probably in a bug out bag or something but so and uh, another thing i'm i'm trying to, i'm working on getting is a uh, pbs 14 it seems like you know some people kind of shame me it's like you know you're not really a prepper if you don't have a pbs 14 <laughs> but anyway so uh I want to break down and you know save the money get a gen 3 pbs 14 so that's something else i'm working on but anyway i just thought i'd give you all a little update since i ain't made a video in about a week or two and uh show you a few things so this is the shtf hunter and i'm out